food is impregnated with flavor. Drama. I just can't believe it's not cornmeal porridge. Verdict. Your favorite chefs from across the Caribbean summoned to go head to head, pot to pot, meal to meal. Watch us as they plead their case weekly to be appointed the Maggie Food Court Caribbean Champion and take home the 10,000 US dollars award. This is Maggie Food Court Caribbean. This is the moment they have all been waiting for. They have traveled far and wide from all over the Caribbean to secure a spot in this, the final battle of Nagi Food Court Caribbean. But who will it be? Who will cop that whopping 10,000 US dollar grand prize and the most coveted culinary title of grand champion? Will it be Chef Ricardo? Or will it be Chef Simone? Only time can tell. This is the grand finale of Maggie Food Court Caribbean. This is the Maggie Food Court Caribbean. On this final trial, the Twin Island Trinidad and Tobago goes pot to pot, meal to meal against the host country. Chef Simone Edwin representing Trinidad and Tobago and Chef Ricardo Hepkins representing Jamaica who will be appointed the Maggie Food Court Caribbean Champion and take home the 10,000 US dollars award. This week's jury members are food enthusiast and critique, Okino Petri, Natasha De Borg, a well-traveled chef who has worked with celebrities and dignitaries, one of the region's most prominent executive chefs, Brian Lumley. All rise, Maggie Food Court is now in session. Presided over by Judge Geronimo. Chefs, welcome back to Maggie Food Court for this, the final battle. It was truly an honor having you here, watching you pour your heart and souls into your dishes. It truly was a pleasure. As you know, in this, the grand finale, two chefs will be facing off. And those chefs are Chef Ricardo, Welcome, Chef. And Chef Simone. <laughs> Welcome, Chef. Since the accident in the kitchen, many of us have not seen Chef Marlon. I know we are concerned, but he is doing very well and is with us today. Let's welcome Chef Marlon. <laughs> Chef, welcome. Thank you. I know you want to say a few words to your fellow chefs. I just want to wish everybody a good luck in the competition today. And don't worry about me, I'm fine. Battle scars, just memories. Thank you <laughs> very right. much. All right. All right, now let's get down to business. Chefs, today you will not be cooking alone. You will get to select a sous chef from your fellow chefs. Chef Simone, who do you choose? I select Chef Marcella. Chef Marcella. I felt honored that she thought enough of me that in terms of my skills that um, to want it to be her teammate because there was a lot at stake, it's $10,000. Chef Ricardo, who is your choice? Chef Rashid. Ricardo chose me to be his sous chef. So, um, I was really, really excited because I really wanted a second chance at it. Chef Rishi. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, the selections have been made. Chefs, I want you to wish them well. All the best. All the best. All the best. We thank you very much for being with us, but now we will get down to battle. I have to be honest, I was a bit nervous because I never saw any of his work for the entire competition. So I literally went in blind and not knowing, you know, any secrets that he might have had up his sleeve. Are you ready? Definitely. You don't sound like you're ready. Yes. All right. Simone, Simone is a great competitor. She is versatile. She's just as good as Rishi. So obviously I'm going to choose Simone. So listen, you have 90 minutes in which to create the very best five-star 
five courses using any ingredient in this kitchen. But we have a secret ingredient, which must be the star of your courses. Do you want to find out what it is? Yes. Chefs, our secret ingredient is coconut milk. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Chefs, Simone and Ricardo, your time begins now. I'm taking the jurors on a journey through the Caribbean. I'm starting with my first course, which is a play on a seafood uh, ceviche from Bahamas. And I'm mixing a little bit of Haiti into that using a, something called a pickle, which is basically cabbage and carrots that uh, is in a super spiced um, with a lot, a lot of pepper in it. So you're gonna get that nice awakening of the palate and then it moves slow, slowly into a pineapple salsa that we call in Trinidad chow, ending with the Bohemian shrimp cocktail, almost rep representing conch. But because we didn't have conch, uh, we decided to do this instead. I made the decision to you know, let's mix my idea with yours. I personally didn't want it to be a caser. Okay, let's make whatever I say. Because again, I wanted to I wanted it to be a mixture. You are from Trinidad, I'm from Jamaica. Let's see how best we can intertwine these two Caribbean countries to make something massive, something culinary geniuses can think about. And that's how we came about with the cornmeal Wellington, um, with the mushroom on top. That's how we came about with the the grits. Smell for smelling this. Wait, you know what it smells like? What? Right to chefs. Victory. Wow, wow, wow. More when we return to Maggie Food Court Caribbean. Grown under the warmth of our Caribbean sun, we invite you to feast on the island's richest flavors. Cultivated with the passion of farmers who labor in love, nurture with care, and harvest in pride. The freshest seasoning and peppers brought straight from the farm to your family to add that sumptuous, succulent taste you love. Made with freshly picked ingredients so you can relish the richness of our homemade taste. Maggie Green Seasoning, Maggie Pepper Sauce, and Maggie Jerk Seasoning. Maggie, the secret of great flavor. From Farm, to freshly produced, to family. Savor the sumptuous sensation of Maggie Green Seasoning. Indulge in any of our three fantastic flavors. Original, spicy, or citrus. Made with freshly picked ingredients so you can relish the richness of our homemade taste. Maggie, the secret of great flavor. Welcome back to Maggie Food Court Caribbean. All right, so you've been cooking for just over 15 minutes. I'm looking for, you know, some indication of what you're cooking. Okay, so I am handling the desserts first. Obviously, you know desserts Ooh, need to be cold. Nice. So I'm knocking that out, and then we're just going to get through with the other prep that oh, we have to get done. That's smart. Yeah, man. I realize you have some sort of... Is this... I have a very nice treat for you that is going to bring you right back to your childhood, I promise. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. All right, on Ricardo's side, what's going on over here? Um, from the first round, we already know I'm not a big fan of baking or pastry, so, you know. <laughs> Okay. She's doing all of that. Okay. So Chef Rishi is over here whisking away. My God. Smell it. That's technique. Very nice technique there. You smell it? Ooh, you, know, yes. you know what it smells like? You know what it smells like? What does it smell like? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is battle grand finale. Everything rides on this battle. 10,000 US dollars and the title of grand champion of Maggie Food Court. The chefs are busy. We see all the aromatic flavors over here. We see all the nicest, the spices and flavors of the Caribbean over here. It's going to be amazing. Dynamite right here in kitchen. Take care. And I'm taking you on another journey to Guyana. I met some really amazing people here. So I am deciding to do a chicken curry and uh, coconut soup with a 
Bohemian Johnny Cakes. It's quite different from other countries' Johnny Cakes. And then I'm just going to top it off with some green banana that I would have just fried, just to give it that nice crisp finish to the dish. So what I'm making is a uh, shrimp and grits and a beetroot salad for the first course. For the second course, I'm making salmon crude, which is really a fruit soup. Yeah. So that was second course. For third course, I'm making a Kalaloo crab dumpling. And it was served with a brown sauce. Five minutes. Next, I'm making a play on Trini Christmas. Trini Christmas is never complete without sorrel, without pastel, and without some kind of glazed pork. I'm now doing a chicken that is glazed with brown sugar and mustard. That is typically reminiscent of what we do to the ham back home. It's just to get that nice sugary, uh, glazy kind of feel on it. Um, for course four, I'm making a cornmeal pork wellington. Yeah, with a mushroom, coconut mushroom and a red wine reduction sauce that also has coconut. Then I'm doing a play on pastels, which I'm taking polenta, which is the base of a pastel, the encasing, and I'm making something called cuckoo, which I then am going to pan sear and use that as my main starch on the plate. And I'm just gonna finish it off with some veg and make my plate pretty with the sorrel sauce that again, no Trini Christmas is complete without. For the fifth and final course, I'm making a cornmeal, cornmeal porridge uh, custard, steamed custard with uh, Roman raisin sauce. I'm moving to something that every Caribbean country can relate to, which is what we call back home sucker bag. Defendants, your time is up in five, four, three, two, one. Step away from the counter chefs. Right away. All right, so this concludes the final battle. Now it's time for you to plate your dishes for presentation to the jurors. Chef Ricardo, first dish, what did you prepare? Uh, what we made today was a grits, shrimp and grits, and a beetroot salad. The coconut milk is in the grits. It's, the grits is technically the you know, chef's offering, and this is our salad. The arugula, the microgreen, is actually arugula, so it's a part of the salad. And the feta cheese is actually soaked in coconut milk. So it's a micro salad? Yeah, it is. All right, thank you. Thank you. Find these and other recipes at nestlerecipescaribbean.com. I don't really get the coconut coming through in the grits. I'm not too sure about you. Of the grits, it's not going to cook with cream. It has a different flavor. I'm not expecting an overpowering of coconut milk, but I get it, I get it subtly in there. Second course. What I made today was a douche crudo. It's actually a cold soup. Sorry, what? Crudo. Boop. Douche crudo. So it's actually a cold soup, it's a cold fruit soup, and it's a salmon, it's a salmon soup. And the crisp on the dish is actually yam, to put some element to the dish. Hope you enjoy. And the Thank coconut milk is actually in the soup with the fruit. The fruit is pineapple. Thank you. For me, it's a bit salty. It's interesting how, how you presented the yam. I think you made a, a good effort here, but when you have the dish totally combined, you really get the essence of it. I think we can try the next dish. Third dish. Third dish appetizer. What we made was a Kalaloo crab dumpling. And the, the idea of the dish was really to intertwine my Caribbean culture with his Trinidadian culture. And the Kalaloo is where I come in. And the sauce is actually, you know, you have breakfast in Jamaica, you have a dumpling, you have Kalaloo, and you have a brown stew. You'd have a liver sauce. So that it's really a brown sauce to go with the dish. And the crisp on the top is actually fried bananas. 
So that's a crisp. How did the coconut come into this? So it was cooked down in the coconut milk, as well as the brown sauce has the coconut milk in it as well. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Chef. The brown sauce is like brown, brown, brown stew chicken, indeed. I think it's very good. I'm getting some good flavors. It seems a little bit balanced yet again. The texture when you bite it is it's quite nice. It's almost like a reminds you of a refried dumpling almost. Ah, uh, Ricardo, fort. Fort. So this is the entree, and what we have today is a pork Wellington. It's served with a red wine and coconut reduction sauce. It's mushroom. The mushroom was drenched in coconut, sauteed in coconut, and reduced, and the pork wellington crust is actually cornmeal that was used to, it's a, it's, it's a patty, it's a patty crust and the coconut milk is in the patty crust as well as it, it has spinach in, in it. So it's a pork tenderloin wellington with red wine reduction and coconut milk sauce with a mushroom. Thank you so much. I think the patty crust is good. Mushrooms are delicious. And I think the sweet and the spicy and the creaminess all go together. Yes. Final dish, Ricardo. Tell us if you are getting the 10,000. Well, based on dish dish, I feel like I'm definitely getting the 10,000. What we have today is a cornmeal porridge, and the coconut milk is actually in the cornmeal porridge, steamed, custard, with a rum and raisin sauce. So what you're gonna do is use these cinnamon sticks to kind of swirl the sauce a little bit, so you get the rum and raisin custard mixed in, and then you can have it with the cornmeal, the steamed cornmeal custard, and just a bite of strawberry to put a little fresh element to the dish. Thank you so much. No problem. It's an interesting play. The cornmeal is very smooth. It's not mm -hmm. lumpy or thick or it has a nice texture. Mm -hmm. It's more refreshing. You know? Yeah. The raisins are there but the the sauce I'm not sure if it added any much of an element. Alright I think it's time we try Chef Simone. Chef Simone, welcome. Tell us about this envious looking dish. So we're gonna start off with a Bahamian and a Haitian mix. So on this end, I want you to start with this because I want you to wake your palate up one time. You know, Haitian people are very spicy, that Creole. So we have a pickles. Um, it's their pepper um, mixed with a cabbage. It's just a simple cabbage um, slow, but it's very spicy. Next, you, um, you're gonna move into a pineapple salsa. It has a little bit of um, spice in there, but not too much. And then we're going to end with the uh, shrimp ceviche, but it is a cooked ceviche, but we then chilled it down for you guys. All right. Thank you. Thank you. What do you guys think about this plating? You know, once I see it and I like it, I have to eat it. It's a little bit more interesting with the blend of tanginess. But the pineapple instantly cools down. Yes. That spice that you have just tasted. Yeah. yeah. Very good start. I think so too. For this dish, we I jumped to Guyana. Yeah. Uh, we in Trinidad, it's not a nice thing that we do, but we make fun of Guyanese because they always switch around stuff. So this is an ode to Guyana. This is a chicken curry, because we say curry chicken. So this is a chicken curry soup with a Bahamian Johnny cake. I like, uh, the flavor is coming right out at me. It's very balanced. The flavors are there. It's yeah. balanced. It's not nothing. It tastes burnt. You taste the curry flavor, and you get that nice rich color because of the maggi curry. So she really outdid herself on this one. For the third course, we're going to turn that. So what I did is that I tried to replicate what we do as a pastel. So I didn't have time to stuff and do all that because it's a very lengthy process. So what I did instead was a pan said polenta, which we call cuckoo, which has the flavors of cornmeal. Uh, I did a chicken. Normally we would do obviously pork, but I changed it to chicken today. And then on the bottom you have a splatter of a spiced sorrel sauce. Sorrel is synonymous with Trinidad. If it's if you do have a glass of sorrel for Christmas, it's not Christmas in Trinidad. I know, I know, I know. It is Natasha. The chef called this fufu. It's fufu. No, cuckoo. Cuckoo. Yeah. Oh, I think we call it like concan meal brand. Is that it? <laughs> yes. The chicken looks really overcooked. Yeah. Yeah, my piece it looks so so dry. I, I'm hoping that the sauce helps it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is indeed not tender. 
I don't know. For me, it's it's a clash with the sarrel. The honey and the mustard and sarrel is it's it's an intriguing combination. Like I'm I'm trying to warm up to it. I think we can go into the fourth dish. Sucker bags for sale. Sucker bags for sale. Baggies for sale. All right, folks. This is going to seem very weird. You may need this. So I want to bring back the childhood in all of us. In Trinidad and in Bahamas, we, everybody will be familiar with a sucker, yes? Or so, in Jamaica, we probably got it suck suck. Exactly. Everywhere has their own version of a sucker bag. So what you have here today is a mango and coconut sucker bag with a little bit of basil. It's just to refresh your palate to cleanse because I know we did a heavy course just now. So I want you to have fun with it. Buy the bag, throw back to your childhood. If you don't want to buy the bag and suck the bag on camera, I would encourage you to um, put it in the glass, shot glass and just knock it back. Well, may I have to bite it? I love how she incorporates all of the Caribbean together. Very interesting. It's delicious. It's refreshing. I think it's a nice little palate cleanse to get to the next course. Mm -hmm. Should we get the next one? Yeah. Go to the next to round off your meal, we have a coconut panna cotta with a little bit of raspberry. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I said we were making a bet that you cannot make panna cotta in sh such a short space of time. Can I get some in on, on that money? <laughs> I did a vegan lemon cake. And you just have a little bit of brittle, just to, you know, snack to while you're watching a movie, whatever Christmas movie you like to watch. All right? Guys, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. You win. <laughs> okay, no? Mmm. This is very good. For a dessert and in the time that they got, this is extremely good. I think it was a good effort. And let me try the, the lemon cake to see. I lemon cake is very good for but yes. I there's a lot of lemon coming through, but it has no. a really good texture. Mm -hmm. And it ties in well with the, the jam. The panna cotta is excellent. <laughs> and the nut brittle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Super, super. Yeah. Wow. And in the time she got to do all of this, you can see her experience in the pastry room. Yeah. I think it's time for us to deliberate. Guys, it was a tough decision. The tasting, my palates can still be savoring some of the dishes that I have tasted. The coconut was a challenge and coconut came true. But a decision has to be made now. Yeah, they were very creative, both teams. They were, their presentation skills, they really brought it. Uh, you can tell the levels of experience that were displayed today and it was it was a good back and forth i mean our deliberations were intense yeah we've seen 16 chefs and it has come down to just these two pairings and i think that you know this show will provide some validation for some of our winners a lot of persons enter competitions for a varying set of reasons and i'm happy that you know we could have provided this opportunity for them to showcase their skill especially to the entire caribbean and i think the winner Represented well. Represented quite well. I absolutely agree. Yeah, we have a decision. Bailey? Chefs, what an intense battle it has been here in Maggie Food Court. You both represented yourself very well. In fact, what you demonstrated was a certain level of culinary mastery that represented you both very well. After many battles, eliminations, challenges, curveballs, and triumphs, we are now at the moment that you and you have all been waiting for. Which of these two culinary geniuses will be crowned grand champion of the Maggie Food Court? Chef Ricardo, you were required to prepare five five-star courses from the ingredients in this kitchen, and you did just that. 
creating a pork wellington from the ingredients in here in the time allotted was simply a culinary masterclass. Chef Simone, you brought us on a culinary journey around the Caribbean, wowing palates and winning minds. But as you know, only one of these two geniuses will be crowned grand champion of Maggie Food Court Caribbean. Who will it be? And the winner of season two of Maggie Food Court Caribbean is... More when we return to Maggie Food Court Caribbean. produced to family savor the sumptuous sensation of Maggie green seasoning indulge in any of our three fantastic flavors original spicy or citrus made with freshly picked ingredients so you can relish the richness of our homemade taste Maggie, the secret of great flavor. From farm to freshly produced. To family. Savor the sumptuous sensation of Maggie pepper sauce. Indulge in any of our three fantastic flavors. Mild, spicy, spicy with shadow benny. Made with freshly picked ingredients so you can relish the richness of our homemade taste. Maggie, the secret of great flavor. Welcome back to Maggie Food Court Caribbean. The winner of season two of Maggie Food Court Caribbean is Chef Simone. Congratulations, <laughs> Chef. Congratulations. Not only um, beating Ricardo as a chef, but he is a Jamaican. Uh, I mean, I did come here to go hard. It does, didn't matter who I went up against. Uh, I guess the Jamaicans will just have to come good next year because once Trinidadians get a smell of this composition, trust me, we will keep coming gunning because we're hungry. We're always hungry. All <laughs> things on the table. All things on the table. All things on the table. Go get your thing. Go get your thing. Go get your thing. Come on, congratulations. Check it's yours. You should hold it. Thank you. Yes. Chef, come <laughs> oh. Come, the waist all, the waist all, the waist all. Oh. Chef, take us in now. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta come your dog too. You had me on a run. Thank you. Oh, okay. You have miles, miles to go again. Just keep doing what you're doing, yeah? All right, chefs. So in the true spirit of Maggie Food Court Caribbean, Chef Ricardo demonstrated a certain level of creativity and innovativeness that the court has decided to award Chef Ricardo a prize, a cash prize of 2,000 US dollars. Thanks for watching season two of Maggie Food Court Caribbean. See you next season.